Greetings all, this is a dark demo from l2bot.eu. I'm going to talk about the Adrenaline uh, bot that currently supports H5 and lower to God+. Plus. Uh, currently we're going to be testing it on a uh, H5 server. So as you can see, I already got a client set up right here. We got the Adrenaline bot. It's already running right here. And I'll be explaining features of the bot and how to use it. So let's uh, log into the server and start going. Got a uh, random account here to test with. We got a uh, auto create account upon login, which I did create this account just to test to make sure. Got my character going a dark Elfio. And as you can see, the uh, character just logged into the game. Each uh, character Welcome that you log in will Jewel. show right here. This is the Temple of Shilin, where the goddess of darkness, Shilin, is worshipped. Here, young dark elves better their skills and strength. Now you will take your first step to becoming a dark elven mystic. First, I will explain the basic operation of the game. To listen to the instructions about this particular topic, click the link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. To hear the next tutorial, click the link located at the bottom of the window. Okay, so this little red dot right here, this is us. These green dots are your moms, which they show right here. Uh, this button, this toggles the activate bot for Lineage 2 client. This is a memory based bot. It hooks directly into the lineage memory. It does not do a man in the middle with packets between server and client. So it's very hard to detect. This button right here toggles the bot on and off, which there's other ways to do that. And you can uh, move the character in the manager up and down, up and down arrows. Here we get into the settings. And it brings up the main settings of the bot. I will eventually go through everything here and talk about all the features. Just a quick look. So let's uh, move our character into position, see who we have to work with, and get it to start attacking. So we're in our room. There's many ways you can set up combat. Uh, for the first room, I'll set up. I'll show you the easiest. We'll, uh, Are you confident with your skills? Okay, right here. Let's go to our attack. We gotta set up basic attack layout now. So since we're a mage, just about every character is gonna have to go to your skills. We're gonna select our wind strike. And here it's got details, skill distance, reuse times, mean distance between the character, just how you can set it where you put like a minimum here, let's say of uh, 400, it'll kind of kite the mobs if they get too close. So just leave that for zero right now. What I like to do uh, when I set mine up, I always like to have conditions to make sure that we're attacking something that's alive. We've got a lot of options here. And we'll get into some of the more advanced stuff with these conditions later on. Currently we're gonna set if the target's HP, it's greater than zero, meaning it's not dead. You can set up to only use this skill for certain mobs or use it all except for certain mobs, along with setting up soul shots, spirit shots. So we'll add the wind strike. 
And now that that's done, we'll go to our combat zone. Quite a few options here. What we're going to do, we're going to do a center point. So you click on this, you click on point. This is your coordinates in game. So if I go in game and I type slash lock, the server's not set up to show the coordinates, but I know what they are. We got our kill radius right here at 1500, even though our attack's only 600. So let's just bring this down a little bit. You can set it up to don't attack outside the combat zone and back to the center if there's no targets. So for right now, we got a wind strike. We got it set up to attack in the room. Let's hit save. And we got our center point here. So here's all the mobs. And just before I activate it here, we got our drop settings. We got your pickup radius, how far away it'll go, your Z limit, which is basically up and down. Let's say something falls up on a rock that your character can't reach. Instead of it glitching at the rock, you can just limit its range. And uh, you can only set it to pick up your own items, no one else's, or in the combat zone. Within the filters, if you want it to only pick up certain items or exclude items, you can uh, search for them by name by typing in here. So Adina. And it shows you all item IDs with that name. We know item ID 57 is the default for Adina. So we'll just get back to this stuff later. So right now I'm just going to enable the bot. If I want, I can go in here. Please put in the question. Change the cooldown to eight seconds. Let me lower the audio here. Little distracting. So as you can see, it's clearing the room pretty good. There's the mob list, mobs are dying, getting one shot it. Let's uh, turn it off for the very moment. See if we got any new skills. All right, so let's continue on. Got some higher level mobs here. Chickens, huh? All right, so I'm gonna show you a, another combat zone setting. We go back into the bot. Here at the uh, map screen. This screen may not show a map when you first start. You have to right click in the center and hit the map button. Uh, by default, I believe it is a blue background. There is no uh, screen. So you click off map and it will load the textured area map that we have for the area. Now, I'm going to show you some advanced techniques of uh, setting up maps. You right click. Go to edit zone. And in here, and this is my favorite feature of the bot, let you pretty much draw a combat zone based on how you click in points. Hit edit zone again, and then it makes a zone. Now let's say you have a rock or something. Something in the way that you're constantly getting stuck on. You can easily Go back to edit zone, go to detour zone, and mark where that rock, whatever it is, and just like that, go back to edit zone again, and then it avoids the zone. It will path around it all the time, and it'll look like a real player doing it. So now we have a zone set up. 
going to go back into the combat zone here. You want to click on map. Now map means it's doing it based on your map here. And you can also, if you're frequently hunting in that same spot, you can right click, go to save zone. You can just type in whatever zone you want. Starter zone one, two, three. And then when you're done, you can hit open zone. And it's on a drop down list. So now we have a zone set up. We're set to the map. We're going to turn the bot back on. Here it goes. I'll get more into the uh, advanced settings of uh, using target searches. Right now, we're just going to let it do its thing. Get you some have kills. reached level 7. You are now eligible to learn new magic skills. To learn more, click the question mark icon on the left side of the screen. Info. So guys, as you can see, this is my first time playing on the server, so <laughs> I don't really know how they have it set up. Let's try this uh, dress me command. But as you can see, the bot is still efficiently hunting on its own. We're not clicking anything for it. Just all over the place. Let's uh, turn off the bot for right now. And continue on. Is that the... So to clear a zone, you right click, go back to edit zone. Also, when you're in the edit zone, you can uh, move it around, redo it if you messed up. And if you just want to completely get rid of it, go to clear zone, it's done. Make sure once you do clear it, you go back, uncheck edit zone, get you out of that mode. Because wherever you click, you're going to be leaving dots all over the screen for it to move to. Still hunting in here, huh? Alright, so we'll go back to another combat zone. This one we'll do a square. Instead of drawing a circle, it draws a square on the screen. Update the point. Enable. Let's see what's in our inventory. <laughs> 